I have so many wishes for the city of Vancouver to contribute to the new urban agenda because the city of Vancouver is supposed to be the number one city in the world but unfortunately we have huge problems for affordable housing. We have huge problems for uh, women and for indigenous people. So I think I would like the city to put an intersectional lens with disaggregated data on the budgets, the programs, the funding and the uh, governance of the city to reflect the entire population of the city. And right now we have really critical problems. We're mostly addressing uh, climate change in a very good way. And uh, that's been the priority of the mayor, but now I think we have social crises that also need to be addressed that fit well within the new urban agenda implementation. I think that the new urban agenda is so exciting because it's bringing people together from all over the world to show our commonality and to look at whether we're uh, indigenous people or we're LGBTQ, whether we're women, whether we're differently abled, whether we're old, we're young. What, what is the city we need? What, what does it mean to have the right to the city? And I think that we need to go on with the Urban Thinkers campuses and really engage the citizens in the neighborhoods to talk with each other, just like these uh, amazing people who've been speaking at the, uh, this meeting of UNESCO and uh, uh, ICAD, because that's what we are facing is a crisis of econ huge economic disparities, inability to find affordable housing, increases in racism, increasing uh, uh, violence against women and against the LGBT community. And we can begin to bring citizens together to address these if we have the Urban Thinkers campaign as one mechanism and the international, intersectional lens and disaggregated data used by the city to make sure their policies really work for everyone, not just a narrow segment of the population. Vancouver was the first habitat and now then is Timbol and now Quito and uh, I don't know, do we know where the next one is going to be? I don't think we know yet. So I would hope uh, by then that the world will think of itself as a, a, a global uh, organism, uh, is, a, is a, where all citizens need to be engaged to address actively uh, the issue of climate change, the right to the city, the right of everyone to have affordable, accessible, culturally appropriate housing, that women who mostly do the work in the home are part of designing. I think that, w that we need to be see there's enormous progress on the social crises of the gap between men and women, both economically and uh, in terms of governance. And uh, in the indigenous people whose lands we are on really are a part of creating this new world because they think ahead. They say we must think ahead seven generations if we're going to make this world work for everyone and so I, th I think that's the last important point I think we're, we're, we need to be addressing by 2030.